<clears throat> hey guys, um, here's your Mr. Tabletop Painting and today um, I want to show you how to paint uh, Imperial Fist Space Marine um, also because I finished my small project so first of all it was the Demon Prince um, display and now I want this Space Marine display, and you see it, that's a biker um, Space Marine. So the bike looks like this. And well, some sand there, uh, cool seat, blue seat for contrast, nice, uh, nice shining. Um, pigment stuff and well it looks great and the light is not the best but I think you see it and I will make some pictures um, of this and also of the diorum because the space is boring so we need something better and well I will not show the finished di uh, display so let's start with a space marine first of all you prime it white and then <coughs> you wash it with um, griffin sepia and that's this color sh this color there on the head then uh, I make the first layer with Iron Dark Sun and then um, I make a second shade with Agrix Earth shade uh, well Devil and Mud and then you start with a new uh, uh, this second uh, layer again with iron dark sun uh, you see that on the feet here and well we will start and um, I will show you the next step when I finished this so I will not paint the head uh, with the yellow uh, colors um, I will paint it white uh, so I can paint some glowing eyes there uh, with the new um, glaze colors or maybe yes I have um, a green or a blue option and I think uh, well my seat is blue and I think I will use the blue one so I will start and I show you the first so guys, and now um, we have the first layer. And well, the head is not painted. And well, um, we can start next step um, so guys um, the next step will be a bubonic brown layer uh, yeah more layer than a highlight so start you see here um, it's not everywhere perfect but um, we paint a lot of layers and it will look yeah it would looks very nice so um strap color off and start to paint the bubonic brown um well highlight more uh, with it so um, you get a nice color transition between um, 
the browns and then the then the yellows and you have uh, you need these shadows here on the shoulder pads and on the face and also there down on the feet and between the uh, fingers and all this um, to have a nice uh, looking space marine uh, well the vehicle I can show it again um, is also a nice color transition or something um, and well you see it's a bit dark over there and it goes brighter to the middle here and there and also on the top and there are some pigment stuff there and well it looks great so um, <clears throat> paint the bubonic brown highlight with the bubonic brown and I will show you the next step right now. So guys, um, we finished the next layer. Now we need the next. So the third layer um, with a 50-50 mix, bubonic brown and golden yellow and start to highlight your space marine so this will be the first um, the first yellow tone there so just start to paint I paint here from uh, up to down and, and uh, down there from the other side um, to have well a better looking and well a bit contrast also and well I think and I hope you like it <laughs> and uh, you have a cool Emperor Army, Emperor Fist Army. Um, yes, I like 40k, but I uh, don't play it because I have no time and um, no real army. Uh, so the next store is a bit far away uh, from here and <clears throat> yes I have not the time but I would like to to play maybe against <laughs> mini war gaming <laughs> they could a pipe light challenge maybe that will be awesome, huh? So, um, finish this and we will start the next step. So, um, the next highlight will be a highlight with golden yellow and well, this space marine start to uh, starts to be um, a imperial fist one, and I can say that this technique is very cool, easy, um, and well it looks good so where's the problem <laughs> uh, 
and well <clears throat> just paint highlights with your golden yellow paint so I finished this again and I will be right back for the next step so um, now the real brighter um, yellow comes um, well, you use sunburst yellow and paint some highlights. So paint these highlights and I tell you what you have to do next. Okay? So um we finished now <clears throat> the sunburst yellow highlight and oops um we will paint now the next highlight uh, i think it's two parts sunburst yellow and one part sky white and paint there the new highlights So, I finish the small parts there and we will have a look for the final highlights. <clears throat> so now, um, uh, so now we uh, paint the next highlight with I think one part white, one part sunburst yellow um, and took more and more white to the yellow to have um, a smooth well, color transition and st yes, start with two parts yellow then one part white, one 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 part yellow, two parts white 
maybe um, one part yellow, three parts uh, white, and then white as an on a highlight. So we have this one one now, and that looks great too. So you see, it goes down now. And it looks pretty awesome. And maybe I need more light now. So, um, on the top right now here. Not too heavy to have a nice um, color transition from the bright to the dark, yellow to brown, whatever. Um, and of course, the shoulder pads uh, down on the feet there, and so on. So, finish with this and be right back for the next step. So now we paint the, I think, not the last highlight, but one of the last highlights um, with uh, one uh, part yellow and one part, uh, two parts white. So only on the top where <laughs> you see where the light is coming down so there there down there there and from the other side on the shoulder pads here there and down there so uh, so that you have a natural highlight and not everywhere the same highlight but because it's it's not possible um, the sun can't shine uh, at every part um, at the same time so um, you paint this and uh, you start with after that you start with a last highlight uh, with a white maybe a bit yellow um, but you need uh, almost only the white so let's start I finish this and I hope we are ready to have the last highlight so last highlight with uh, more white to the um, yellow and white highlight so highlight only the highest parts um, of the shoulder pads and uh, um, think about the highlights before so you see where you have to paint and yes I think then we finished um, the armor uh, maybe we can have a shade um, a yellow shade to have it a bit darker um, and a bit smoothy so I finish this and we can start with the final uh, shade maybe. So, so 
We finished all layers, highlights, and focus. So we finished all layers and highlights on the top. Um, and I think we have to paint a bit of the um, shade Cassandora yellow. So um, paint a bit like this on in the edge there. Then it is a bit darker. And well, not too much, but a bit of to have some more shadows. And you see, the paint is a bit like a bit orange, um, and it looks very cool. And well. Finish this and we will paint all the rest. So be ready. So guys, um well I painted the last highlight and also the black parts for example the the wings in the middle, um, some details, the edge of the um, shoulder pad, the skull there, and well, looks great. So, um, the head, I painted it with Commando Kaki, um, the base coat, then I uh, give it a I gave it um, a Griffon sepia wash and then I layer layer it with um, Denep stone and now I will paint the um, white so and also I gave the um, the black the black one uh, first the codex gray and then well Fortress Grey or Administratum Grey highlight um, you see there and well it looks nice so let's paint the white you need some water to your white and maybe some layers so um so um you need some layers um for your, uh, with your white and of course water um water is very important so Paint it smooth and exact to the. Um, I think yes, the stone parts, um, so that we have these cool <coughs> uh, shadows um, of the uh, Griffin sepia. And well, it looks very nice. Uh, I will finish this and we will make the glowing eyes, and then I think we are ready. So, um, yes, maybe some pigments and ready. So, be right back. So, guys. Um, 
the Space Marine is now finished. Um, pigments, <coughs> glowing eyes, some white points in the middle to have um, some reflection. Uh, rusty pigments, black, all stuff. And now I would show you the final result. Uh, well, final project. And well, you saw. First of all, I sh um, the Space Marine itself, then the bike, it's very cool, with some uh, blue seat there, some bolters, um, so of course some sand and some black silver and uh, metal parts and uh, cool stuff so I have I think it's okay I have not to paint a lot of um well destroyed parts and I like it and of course I have my display and we will look now. So, this is the final display, and it will stand right there. With um, some rusty metal parts there, some wood, um, a small way, uh, not a street, uh, and well, stones, all this. So, it seems magnetized. <laughs> so, uh, the bike in the middle, and now. Uh, the Space Marine up there, so uh, looks very cool, and I hope you like it. You like a tutorial, and I will make a showcase and some pictures. So bye and subscribe, comment, and like. Thank you.